What is up, YouTube? Casemos Primer back at you with yet another video. This time I'm doing something very different on my channel. I am doing my very first top 10 video. I know there are several other YouTubers who have actually done top 10 lists on YouTube. I've never done one before. And I've wanted to for a long time, but I thought, what would be a good topic to do as a good... You know, to do as a first top 10 video. I recently got a message from one of my subscribers who asked me, you know, hey, I saw some of your old pictures on Instagram and I saw you went to Disney a few years back, so what are some of your tips on what to do at Disney? Well, I hate to break it to you, but the last time I went to Disney three years ago was also my last time. I absolutely hate Disney World. It is so depressing there. It is such the saddest place on earth. But I understand that not everybody feels that way and you want to go. So here is my list of top 10 things not to do at Disney as an adult. If you're a child, then completely ignore this list. This only applies if you are an adult. So let's get started. Number 10, and this goes without saying, do not ask to buy alcohol. There is not a single place on Disney property that will sell you a single drop of alcohol. Trust me, if I could go back in time, if I was 20, if I was at this exact same age I am three years ago, I would have wanted to have a stiff white Russian at downtown Disney when I was at the parks. But as you will find out upon arrival, there is not a single restaurant or concession stand that will sell you even a beer or a glass of wine. So you're going to have to settle for ordering it at the hotel, or as room service, or bringing your own. Because there's not a single place on Disney property that sells alcohol at both Disney World and Disneyland. Whether you be at any of the parks, Epcot, Downtown Disney, Tar Disney Springs, wherever you go, you're not going to be able to get alcohol. Number nine, and this one kind of goes without saying, don't frown. Because if you frown, the cast members are going to get into a tizzy, thinking that guests are going to start complaining and they're going to start losing their minds. For the love of God, keep a straight face, or if you have to, fake a smile. Do something to keep the cast members calm. Because the last thing you want is them to start panicking. Which leads me into number eight. Don't complain to cast members. You know, it's not their fault if a ride breaks down or if a character needs to take a break because they've been doing it for too long. They don't have control over that. You know, they, the problems are going to arise, so don't take it out on the cast members. And by the way, if for some reason they say to you, have a Disney day or have a magical day, that's basically their, their way of saying, go F yourself. Experience proves it. I've been to Disney several times, and I've been dissatisfied with everything they've... And that's what I've been told. Have a Disney day. Which is basically their way of saying, go puck yourself. Number seven, and this especially applies if you're also an adult. Do not flirt with the princes or princesses. Their focus is on the children, not you. So, if your wife or husband is standing right there, don't go up to them and flirt. They don't care about you, and they're definitely not going to help if your, if your partner is watching. Like, if you're a, gr a girl, don't go hitting on Gaston. He's got his heart set on Belle. And guys, don't go hitting on Ariel. She's already got her heart set on Eric. So, for the love of God, just don't flirt. You'll make the character very uncomfortable, and you're going to look like an idiot doing it. So don't. Number six. Don't stand in line for attractions that you know you're not going to like. Like, if you know your kids aren't going to enjoy the ride, or if they don't meet the height or age requirements, or you just know you're not going to enjoy it, then don't get in line for it. You're wasting your time. That could be spent doing things you want to do. Of course, it wouldn't matter if you had a fast pass for this attraction, but like I said, 
If you're not going to enjoy the ride, or if your kids aren't going to enjoy the ride, then don't bother with it. Just don't stand in line for it. Don't even bother. Number five, and this only applies to adults as well, don't take pictures with characters. If you're an adult, save the photos for your children. You know, my cousin has this picture of herself with her daughter with Elsa, and I think, oh, God, you ruined the perfect childhood memory because you couldn't just let Elsa be in the picture with your daughter by herself. If you're an adult, be the one taking the pictures. Don't be in them, unless the character specifically requests you be in the picture. But if they don't want you in the picture, don't ask to be in it, because you're just going to ruin the memories. Number four, don't ask characters to break character. If they are not going to know about anything outside the Disney universe. So don't ask Elsa and Anna what their favorite TV show is, or don't ask Gaston what his favorite sports team is. They're not going to know a single thing you're talking about. You're going to make a fool of yourself. So trust me when I tell you that. Don't ask those questions. I've made that same mistake. Number three, and I can't stress this enough, don't eat the food. Wherever you go at Disney, don't eat the food. Go to a Publix and get some groceries to eat at the hotel, or go to a restaurant that's not on Disney property. Because every time I've gone to Disney and I've eaten the food there, I always come home with food poisoning. It's just so disgusting, the food at Disney World. I just, it's, it's so gross. I don't know what the hell they put in it. But I understand why Gordon Ramsay won't go anywhere near the stuff. It's disgusting. I just, don't eat the food. Whatever you do, pack your own food, but don't eat theirs if you can avoid it. I, I really mean that. Number two, this also applies if you're an adult. Don't tell the kids you're having a bad time. Because if you keep on moaning to the kids that you're having a bad time, you're going to make their time less enjoyable. So, if you're complaining, the kids are going to complain, and it's going to make an even worse vacation for all of you. And finally, number one, I can't stress this enough, and really, I know because I've been heavily embarrassed by this. If you're an adult and you're meeting Disney characters, do not, I repeat, do not ask them for a hug. Because the answer is going to be no. And they will find some way of saying no without breaking character. I would know that. Because the last time I was at Disney, I met Snow White. And I asked her for a hug, and she said no, because it wouldn't be fair to the dwarves or her prince. I said the same thing to Elsa and Anna. They both said no, because Anna says Kristoff would get jealous, and Elsa says she has a cold. So if you're an adult, whatever you do, save yourself the embarrassment. If you really want to hug somebody, hug your family, because if you ask the characters, they're just going to say no. Or if you're talking to someone like Mickey or Minnie, the cast members are going to tell you they can't. Or they'll try to bleh, get other ways to move you along. Because they don't want to see adults doing that. They want the kids to do that, but they don't want to see a bunch of adults doing that because they think that's creepy. So hopefully this helped you. Better plan your next trip to Disney, whether it be a Disney World or Disneyland in California or whatever. Hopefully you'll take this information very wisely. I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.